ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் குட் ஈவினிங் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் முகாம்பிகா நர்சிங் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் அண்ட் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஆல்சோ வி கேன் சி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் அண்ட் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஷுவர்லி திஸ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வில் ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் ஃபார் இயர் எக்ஸாம் ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் இஃப் இட் இஸ் யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஃபார் இயர் ஸ்டடீஸ் ப்ளீஸ் ஷேர் மை வீடியோஸ் டு யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் சர்க்கிள் அண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் மை சேனல் அண்ட் சப்போர்ட் மீ லெட்ஸ் கண்டினியூ தி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் First question, which of the following digestive enzymes present in gastric juice is primarily responsible for breaking down of proteins? Options, option A, trypsin, option B, pepsin, option C, peptidase, option D, chymotrypsin. Our question is, which digestive enzyme present in gastric juice is responsible for the breakdown of protein? And the correct answer is, it is pepsin. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question is, emulsification of lipids in the small intestine requires options. Option A, gastric lipids. Option B, pepsin. Option C, pancreatic lipids. Option D, bile salt. Emulsification means breakdown of larger particles into smaller. Okay. Here, emulsification of lipids in small intestine requires bile salt. Option D is the correct answer. And the next question is, vitamin B1 is also known as options. Option A, pyridoxin. Option B, thiamine. Option C, riboflavin. Option D, niacin. Here first option, pyridoxin is vitamin B6 and second option, thiamine, it is B1. So that is our correct answer. Option C, riboflavin is vitamin B2 and option D, niacin is vitamin B3. So our correct answer will come, option B, thiamine is vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 is thiamine, B2 is riboflavin, B3 is niacin, B5 is pantothenic acid, vitamin B6 is pyridoxin. Vitamin B7 is biotin, Vitamin B9 is folic acid, Vitamin B12 is cyanocobalamin. And the next question is, which of the following trace elements is essential for the synthesis of insulin? Options, option A cobalt, option B iron, option C zinc, option D sodium. Our question is, which micro elements or trace elements is essential for the synthesis of insulin? It is zinc. Option C is the correct answer. And the next question is, pap smear is done to detect which disease? Options, option A, uterine prolapse, option B, uterine fibroid, option C, breast cancer, option D, cervical cancer. And the correct answer is option D, cervical cancer. Pap smear is used to detect cervical cancer option D. And the next question is, in which among the following disease, methyl ergotamine is contraindicated? Our options, option A, heart disease, option B, lung disease, option C, liver disease, option D, kidney disease. Methyl ergotamine is mainly given to prevent postpartum hemorrhage. And it can cause hypertension or increased BP. So, it is contraindicated in case of heart disease. Option A is the correct answer. Move to the next question. The hallucination that is present during the aura of epilepsy is. Options. Option A. Olfactory hallucination. Option B. Visual hallucination. Option C. Auditory hallucination. Option D. Gestatory hallucination. If the question is, which type of hallucination present during the aura of epilepsy? It is olfactory hallucination. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which drug is used to reduce oral and respiratory secretions? Options. Option A, anticholinergic. Option B, histamine. Option C, antibiotic. Option D, diuretics. Here the question is, which drug is used to reduce oral and respiratory secretions it is option a anticholinergic anticholinergic are the drugs which helps to prevent the risk of aspiration example for anticholinergic is atropine so the anticholinergic can give to reduce oral and respiratory secretions and the next question is, which among the following vaccine is stored in the freezer compartment? Options, option A, TT, option B, DPT, option C, measles, option D, typhoid. The vaccine which is stored in the freezer compartment is measles vaccine. Option C is the correct answer. 
and the next question is sings taken blackmore tube method is used to control bleeding in which of the following condition options option a hematemesis option b gastritis option c melina option d esophageal varices sings taken blackmore tube is a three lumen tube which is used to control bleeding in case of esophageal varices option d is the correct answer Move on to the next question. Elevated serum creatinine and bun are indicative of which one of the following diseases? Options: Option A, diabetes mellitus; Option B, chronic renal failure; Option C, renal stone; Option D, obstructive uropathy. Our question is: In which condition the serum creatinine and blood urea nitrogen is increased or elevated? Normal serum creatinine level is 0.6 to 1.3 milligram per deciliter, and normal blood urea nitrogen is 8 to 24 milligram per deciliter. So this value will be increased in case of chronic renal failure. Option B is the correct answer. The next question is multi gravida mother feels first fetal movements that is quickening at which week of gestation options option 10th week option b 12th week option c 16th week option d 20th week in the question they mentioned the mother is multi gravida multi gravida mother feels quickening at which week of gestation that is our question quickening is the first fetal movement In case of prime gravida, it occurs by 18th week of gestation. In case of multi gravida, multi gravida means in the woman who is pregnant more than one time. So in multi gravida, quickening occurs two weeks earlier than prime gravida. So the correct answer is it is 16th week. Option C. In normally quickening occurs at which week of gestation like that question coming means it is at 18th week of gestation normal question here they mentioned multi gravida mother so the correct answer is 16th weeks and the next question is the number of all current cases of a disease at one point of time is called options option a period prevalence option b point pre incidence option c point prevalence option d time prevalence our question is the number of all current cases or recent cases of disease at one point of time at a particular time is called point prevalence option c is the correct answer And our next question is: In which year was the Rashtriya Swasthya Bima Yojana (RSBY) introduced? Options: Option A, 2006; Option B, 2008; Option C, 2007; Option D, 2005. The Rashtriya Swasthya Bima Yojana program provides health insurance for below poverty line, and it is launched in the year 2008. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question is Verhaeus syndrome means options option A a rupture of the esophagus option B a rupture of the duodenum option C a rupture of the small intestine option D a rupture of the abdominal wall Verhaeus syndrome means it is the rupture of the esophagus option A is the correct answer And the next question is what is the other name for pancreaticko duodenectomy options option a wipples procedure option b billroth 1 option c billroth 2 option d pancreatectomy pancreaticko duodenectomy is also known as wipples procedure option a is the correct answer and the next question is which condition is defined as inflammation of the peritoneum and our options option a colitis option b peritonitis option c duodenitis option d gastritis inflammation of the peritoneum means it is peritonitis option b is the correct answer and the next question is which among the following is also called otitis externa options option a temporal bone osteomyelitis option b parietal bone osteomyelitis option c frontal bone osteomyelitis and option d occipital bone osteomyelitis is otitis externa is also called temporal bone osteomyelitis option a is the correct answer 
and the next question is which cortical area is responsible for the formulation of speech options option a broca's area option b cerebellum area option d hypothalamic area option d hippocampus the speech center or the area which is responsible for the formulation of speech is broca's area option a is the correct answer and the next question and the last question is the primary granuloma found in the tuberculosis is known as options option a gons focus option b cassius focus option c erediz cells option d goblet cells the primary granuloma formed in the tuberculosis is known as gons foci or gons focus option a is the correct answer friends today in this video we discuss important and previous year questions If it is useful for your studies please share my videos to your friend circle